Hello, it's good to be here tonight in God's presence and just to share something with you tonight. I want to pray for you tonight. I'm speaking to Christians. I'm not speaking to unbelievers because I want to talk about the gift, the giftings of God. And I believe every Christian has a gift from God, even more than one gift. And uh, very many Christians haven't yet discovered that gift within them. And um, they haven't taken that step of faith to believe that they can do more than they're doing now. And if you're one of those people, maybe you've been, maybe you've been brought up and you have parents that so has kind of squashed the gift in you and not allowed you to really exercise um, that gift within you or you feel that you've been inhibited by circumstances in your life or by your parents. But now you're a Christian, or you might have been even a Christian then in those circumstances, but I want to encourage you tonight to break those chains and to break free of all that and to realise you have great potential and you can break free from all that and take one step further. It's called the step of faith. Now Joshua was standing on the banks of the Jordan. Those priests were standing on the banks of the Jordan and they had to put their feet in the water for the Jordan to stop flowing. And then they crossed. Now they could have stood and watched the Jordan all day long but it would have still carried on flowing and they wouldn't have crossed. And they had to take that step of faith. It was the same when Moses was by the Red Sea uh, the Lord says, Stretch, what's that in your hand? Stretch forth your rod. And the moment he stretched forth his rod, the waters parted and they were able to cross over. And that's what faith is. Faith is an act. And I want to encourage you tonight not to be inhibited by your past. Don't be inhibited by your parents. Don't be inhibited by people who say you can't do it. You see, the world is full of people who are basically very many selfish people in the world know they're only interested in themselves they're not interested in encouraging others uh, I find it uh, such a blessing to me when people encourage me and I'm sure that you do too but I want to encourage you tonight and tell you you can do it you can go one step further and I want to pray for you tonight you see Paul the Apostle he had a, a disciple called Timothy you read the book of uh, Paul's letters to Timothy and you can see in it how he encouraged Timothy and he commends Timothy and Timothy was a great man of God because he was trained by Paul but he believed the words that Paul said to him and he listened to Paul and when Paul said stir up the gift which is in you which was given you through the laying God of my hands then I believe that Timothy obeyed uh, Paul had imparted some gift to him through praying for him and he he said stir up that gift within you start to use it now I believe that that gift was stirred up in him through prayer and I believe it was speaking in tongues okay you might say well I don't speak in tongues tonight don't worry about that you can pray with your understanding and uh, and I want to tonight pray for you that God's going to bring a gift out in you I'm talking about a miracle tonight something that's inside of you and it's buried and it might never come out if you don't do something about it but I p believe tonight that prayer is going to release a gift in you it could be the gift of music it could it could be some creative gift some art gift uh, you know being doing something very artistic or creative it, it could be uh, preaching the word of God teaching the Bible or something like that but whatever gift that God releases through you, you're going to have to work hard and practice it. If it's to be a Bible minister, then you're going to have to start to learn to love God's Word and to read and study in it and get into the deep truths of the Word of God. Because if you don't spend time and work hard at it, you're not going to be able to teach others. If it's music, then you're going to have to get hold of a guitar or some musical instrument and learn how to tune it first of all and then learn how to play it and practice 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 see even though God gives you a gift we can't be lazy with that gift we have to practice and develop that gift and mature that gift by using it and practicing it working hard at it but in the end it will pay off if you work hard at it if you're an art, you want to do some form of artwork then you need to start to paint and keep on painting and keep on painting until you develop your artistic ability and still creativity starts to flow it could be filmmaking you're going to have to practice it you're going to have to learn how to use all the software and work hard at it just because God gives you a gift doesn't mean to say that you sit then and the gift suddenly does it all for you no it's all about cooperation but here we are I just want to read this scripture to you tonight it's in 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 6 therefore I remind you to stir up the gift of God which is in you through the laying on of my hands Lord I pray for these people now that are listening 
for each individual that believes this word and wants that gift and wants to use it for the glory of God. I'll loose that gift in you now and I command that creative gift or whatever gift that God has got for you now be released in you in Jesus Christ's name. Now you believe it and that desire will come forth. Thank you for listening.